Hello everyone, Tim Game here, and today I have the pleasure of bringing you some more FIFA 12 live commentary. Now, this one is going to be a head-to-head, -head because I haven't done one of those in a while. And as you can see, I'm using Spurs, but before I go in this, I'm going to show you how I set up with Spurs. Friedel, Walker, Cabal, King, Okoto, pretty good back four, but it's the midfield and the strikers where Spurs really come into their own because Lennon is absolutely rapid on one wing, Bale is absolutely rapid on the other, you've got Parker and Modric, two really good central midfielders, Van der Vaart, true world class in the hole, and then Adebayor who is a tank on FIFA. Now Adebayor is one of those players who just plays so much better than his rating, he's a machine, great at finishing, mobile, you know he's a really really good striker. So let's see if we can get a game. Hopefully we can. The connection hasn't been too bad. Downloaded the squad straight away. So hopefully we'll get into a game straight away. Here he is, Rafa. Oh dear. Yes, um, for all of you guys who are watching and waiting for a Sunday Talk today, I do apologise. Um, Sunday Talk's a series that's sort of reliant on topics. I'm not going to do a topic I'm not really interested in or it's a bit half-baked. I'd much rather wait a week, wait for a topic that I'm really interested in and spend a lot of time on that. So if you do have any Sunday Talk topics you want to recommend, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. But we are into a game and I can't quite see who we're playing yet. That is Madrid. It looks like Madrid. It is. So, um, we are playing Real Madrid as Tottenham Hotspur and hopefully the mighty, mighty Spurs can pull out the victory. There's Mesut. Oh, he's not going to be one of those guys who watches all of the build-up, is he? Is he going to be a time waster? Let's see. He's, it's almost certain he's going to be a time waster. Oh, come on, I want to get into the game. Yeah, I haven't actually done any warm-up games either, so this is going to be quite interesting. You know, you've got to be on your on your game to play Madrid. Got to be on the ball, because even if you are playing against a bad player, you know, any any moron can, can score a goal with Ronaldo or a Benzema or an Ozil. So you've got to defend tight and counter-attack, and that's what I think I'll do. But it's you know a good uh, formation to play and a good system to play as Spurs, because they are brilliant on the counter-attack. They've got a big, strong centre-forward, they've got pace on the wings, and they've got people in midfield who can pass. And that is a perfect combination for counter-attacking football. So, really nice formation to set up as playing Madrid. So, it's actually quite a, a lucky draw. But, come on, let me get into this. He's playing Nuri Sahin as well. Good shout. I always play Nuri Sahin as Madrid. And he's playing the same formation. So, let's get into the action. Here we go. Let's put defensive on for the first couple of minutes, just until we get into the game. Oh, rubbish. Yeah, that was meant to be back to Lennon, but unfortunately he just pinged it towards uh, Kyle Walker there. Yeah, he's, uh, he looks like he's going to get his skills on here. But that's not the end of the world, because there aren't too many people who can do them effectively, so... Just stay tight. Oh, cracking challenge. Wasn't expecting him to get that one. Oh, intercept that. Good block. I don't know where he's playing Ronaldo. I should have really looked. Good tackle. Aaron Lennon's in miles. No one catches Lennon in this game. He's absolutely rapid. Oh, it's a poor ball, really. And he's paused it straight away. Oh, I hate players who play like this. I really do. Just they try and time waste you out of it. It's like, I'm not going to get bored. I will wait here all day if I have to to beat you. Just always back. Try to catch me in a wares. See, they, they slide, they do a sly pause, and then they try and catch you in a wares by um, resuming the game at an unusual second. Because most people, if they've paused, they wait to the end. But obviously not this guy. Oh, that's skills. Adebayor. Oh, he's put it over. Manu, what are you doing? He's a keeper charger, though. That's good to learn early on. Nine minutes in, he will charge the keeper. Punts it long. See, he just paused it for no reason. He didn't do any substitutions there. He just paused it. Good tackle, Luca. Oh, no. I thought that was Lennon bursting onto that for some reason. It's like, yeah, Scott Parker isn't going to run past Ramos. Got a bit lucky with that. All right, come on, lads. Let's actually get some passing down. Manu. I'm going to take this off defensive as well because he isn't the best player by the looks because I'm keeping the ball as Spurs and he's Madrid. Not really under any pressure. 
Modric. Ah, worth a pop. Worth a pop. Big head. Good head. Oof. Nearly poached that. Oh, that was poor. Let's see. Lob through balls in wet conditions don't work because it, it does skip on. It's like real life. If you put a lob through ball in in real life, it will skip off the turf. That was nice football. You see, they've got so much pace. See, Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the fastest players in the game, is not getting anywhere near Kyle Walker there. Manu, that is just terrible. Oh, Parker, stick your foot, foot out, lad. Could have intercepted that. Oh, that was good play. Ozil is a lefty, though. Yeah. <laughs> nice effort. Yeah, I haven't started too well here, actually. I've been a little bit rusty. I've been playing a lot of Ultimate Team, and that has uh, quite a different feel to head-to-head. -to -head. That was meant to go upfield, but never mind. At least it didn't go for a, uh, a corner. Yeah, there's something about Ultimate Team. It's just a little bit more arcadey than head-to-head. -head. I mean, head-to-head's a lot more like real football. You've got to actually pass, and a lot less like 50 yarders flying for some reason. On Ultimate Team, you can just ping goals in from everywhere. No, that wasn't to him, was it? That was to the unmarked midfielder three yards away. See, that's what he's trying. He's trying to do the, the one-twos and get in behind. I might consider a formation change in a bit. Oh, Bale, what are you doing? Tackle. Nice Benoit. Right. Better. Better football. Yeah, Sahin isn't that quick, but he's really good on the ball on this. I've got behind him well a couple of times here. Good cross. Oh, he's headed it over. I should be in the lead, really. I haven't started particularly well, but I should be in the lead. 27 minutes in. Big Ed Ledley. Well up. Oh, poor ball from Van der Vaart. Oh, wow. That is a bad challenge. Okay, actually getting the ball a bit better now. Oh, Luca, that's poor. Tackle. And I've injured one of his players. That's always good. Oh, so just not getting the passing down at the moment. Was that Ronaldo injured as well? That would have been perfect. Shame he didn't go off. Great tackle on the floor. <laughs> Yunus could ball off the floor with a challenge. Nearly. Nearly. You can see what he's trying to do. Right. Come on. Let's actually get some football going here. We are Spurs. We do play good football. Better. And again, much better. That was a nice move. Put the ball into the back post. Big Ed! Oh, come on! What do I have to do? Big Ed again. He got lucky with that one. So just hold the line. Hold the line here and cover. Right, I'm going to protect the scum. Oh, he scummed it. And he's missed it. Thoroughly deserved. You know, people who scumbag the ball... They have no talent, and that's one thing I really hope they sort out for FIFA 13. I want it to be virtually impossible to scumbag. It's just, it never happens in real life. You know, one goal in about 100 will be a square across the uh, the box to an unmarked striker. But on FIFA, it just happens, like, so often. It's ridiculous. Does he cover the run? He's not really going anywhere there. Oh, my. That, if he'd have beaten Friedel, I would have just retired from FIFA. So I defended that quite nicely. He wasn't really going anywhere. Right, come on, Spurs. We can do this. It's a nice one, too. No, Marcello, just no. Van der Vaart. Ambitious. Ambitious and rubbish, the top gear mantra. Oh, nearly, Manu. Nearly. Right, come on. I'm not really doing anything there. Cristiano. It's a good ball, that. It's not the best cross, but Manu's nearly made it. Oh. Tackle tackle Gareth. Go on. Yeah, I have not got Bale into the game at all this first half. Sprint away from him if you can. Well, in Eunice. Yeah, I do like to start Kabul ahead of Michael Dawson when I play as Spurs as well. Because Kabul's just a little stronger. I think he's just offside. That's a silky finish, though, that. Oh. Yeah, half a yard. Half a yard. That's what I've got to do, though. He's got quite a static back four. I've got to get it in behind him a bit more. But it's not been a bad first half. Could have been, could have been better. Probably should have scored. 
Oh, ref, what a time to blow up. Are you kidding me? What referee would blow up there? Oh, nil-nil, half-time, tight, tight game. Probably should have taken the lead. I've had enough chances. But, um, yeah, yeah, bit, bit of a disappointing performance, that. This is the sort of player on my day and on, on top form I'll be beasting, but um, fortunately I haven't started particularly well. That's not too bad. Lennon in space. Got Lennon, put your foot down. Run round him. It's only Ramos. That's a good ball. Ah, oh, Modric. Don't want Modric there. I want Adebayor on the end of those. Okay, he peeled. But I just stood off him. Ah, oh, that's a nice ball. Lennon's got the beating of Marcello for pace. But a bit more on this cross. Modric! Modric with the rebound! It's in! Yes! Oh, I got lucky with the rebound, but you've got to say I deserve the lead. I've been all over him that first half. Oh. First real attack of the second half as well. Modric has got to score that header. Good save from Casillas, but at least he gets on the rebound and tucks it in near post. 1-0. Okay. Stand off, stand off, stand off. Okay, you're in a strong position here because you, you, all of your back four are on him. Let's get rid of that. So there's absolutely no need to dive in at all. It's a great ball. Not a great pass, though. Nice, Luca. Oh, right, yeah. Got a, got a bit lucky there, but I got a bit unlucky with um, Modric's touch. Let's actually get Bale into the... Oh. <laughs> it's not ba not been Bale's day so far, has it? Okay, let's actually pass. Get some of the ball moving. Let's get the Swansea triangle started. Oh, that's good football. Good football. See, this is how you play as Spurs. Get to the byline, get it in the box, get Manu on the ball, get the headers on target, and you score so, so easily. Finally getting the goals. You know, this is the complete opposite of how I normally play. Because what normally happens with me is I take a, a three-goal lead or a two-goal lead in the first half and then I just tighten up in the second and just try and keep the ball and not do anything stupid. But, you know, th this guy, he, he clung on in the first half. He didn't concede uh, through decent play on his part in, in areas, but more through bad finishing on mine. Ah, see, that's good defending. Ah, more good defending. See, that, that's fine. You know, it looks a bit scrambly, but that's how you've got to defend on, on FIFA. You know, you aren't going to... Oh, dear, you made a meal out of that, Frudel. You know, you're not going to keep players at bay. It's FIFA. It's a bit random. It, the ball bobbles off players and gives them, you know, easier chances. What you've got to do is you've got to make sure that when they do have a chance, it's, it's wide, you know. It's in an area where it's not going to be a goal. Come on, Kyle, drive. So he's got so much pace in this in this Spurs team. And you've got Manu up front who can just do that. I mean, it's just too easy. It's too easy to score. I need to play as Spurs a lot more often. I love this team. You know, and the great thing is if you're playing against a guy who cuts that tactic out, you've got like Modric and you've got Van der Vaart in midfield who can just sit back and pass and they can pick defences off, you know. So that they've got a nice rounded team. They've got the pace for players who were a little bit slack wide but they've got the passing ability for those who are tighter and that's that's the great thing they're such a versatile team and I, I, he can't get near me at the moment Manu oh that would have been a lovely goal go out for a corner oh, just kept in and he's nutmeg Manu as well good football but see that you just got to keep the ball moving keep the ball moving you know don't don't sit on it too long. If you're in space and there's no one free, just check back like that and just keep it moving. You know, you, you always see players who try and do... He's offside. Who try and do too much. You know, they, they've beaten one player with a ball or they've beaten that second player and then they get nosebleed syndrome and they're like, oh, I'm too far up the field and they, they run out of ideas of what to do or they, they try and do something a bit ridiculous. Yeah, it's, that's, that's fine. Track the run. Let's see. It's nice and composed. Don't panic. Keep the ball moving. It's been a much better second half, this. I've actually played like a guy who knows what he's doing. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Just drop to me. <laughs> it wasn't happening there. Go on, Eunice. Go to him. Good tackle, Eunice. Good ball. 
Right, Bale's in space. Yeah, that is a great out ball as well. If you're um, with the goalkeeper and you've got strikers bearing down on you, just chip it to a winger. You know, because the vast majority of the time the winger isn't marked. So you can just chip it to him. Nice and easy. Oh, just offside Lennon. There's no excuse for being offside there. Let's have a look. Yeah, he was. See, he's in so much space. It's just it's criminal to be offside there. But this has been a much better second half. Yeah, and lucky son. Must try harder. Skipped around him. Put the ball in. That was meant to be to the back post, but for some reason it went there. Kyle's recovered it. Much better cross. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you see what I mean, you know. The Benjani celebration as well. I haven't done that one in a while. But yeah, this is Spurs' strength. Their strength is getting it wide, getting it onto Adebayor's head. And then if that doesn't work, you go to plan B, which is the pass, the move, you know, the intricate passing on the edge of the air with the Van der Vaarts, the Modriches. You know, Spurs, really good side. And if you haven't given them a try, I'd recommend it. Because like you see, when it, when it does go right, like it has done here, for example, you, you can just put players out of commission. And it's really not too hard. Oh, nearly. Oh, nearly added boy. Oh, nearly Manu. Keep it up. Good block. Nice Scotty as well. Go on, third time Parker. Yes. Beast. <laughs> I love doing that. I love passing around players. Another cross in. Adebayo. Just every day of the week. Every single day of the week you can do that. It's just rip them apart on the flanks. They've got pacey players. Everyone in this team's good on the ball. I mean, you've got Walker and Asuakoto as fullbacks. They are, you know, they are wingbacks. They are not players who sit back and defend. They will get forward. They can put the crosses in. They can pass. They can move. You know, they can do everything. And this guy just can't defend that tactic. You just keep knocking it around. Yeah, got a bit lucky with that. Oh, yeah, he is offside. I thought I'd uh, snuck him in there, but no, nah, miles off, miles off. Ne he was never onside, the lad. Yes, Manu, class. Ah, oh, did the wrong skill move there. But yeah, for all you guys who are wondering when my attacking tutorial is coming out, I think I've got enough footage for it now because that was the thing. I wanted to get a huge database of footage and I've got several yeah, hours of gameplay now. Right, fake shot inside. Van der Vaart. Oh, good save. Good save. But yeah, I'm going to start work on that um, probably tomorrow, actually. I've got a bit of time. Um, I am recording this on a Saturday, by the way. So um, Because tomorrow is the British Grand Prix and... Um, the Wimbledon final, Andy Murray's through. So I wanted to spend all of day, all of the day watching that. So I'm recording um, the gameplay now, so I can upload that when I'm watching the sport. And then at night, when the, the sport's over, um, I'll get work on my FIFA tutorial. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that, because I'm certainly looking forward to doing it. And there we go, final score five nil. I think that was. You know, Adebayor. It was that Adebayor show, wasn't it? Just fantastic. I think all of my goals came from crosses. You can just rip people apart with Spurs. See, look at that. Kyle Walker, man of the match. Aaron Lennon on a 9.6. You know, Adebayor. Luka Modric. All of these players on high ratings. You can just see how I play. You know, I, I work it into midfield, then try and work it wide and get that ball in. And, you know, it's fantastic. Gareth Bale didn't touch the ball today. So one of my best players I didn't even use in today's victory because Marcello is just getting ripped by Aaron Lennon. So I moved it wide all the time. So, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed watching that video. It was a really good performance in and after a slightly shaky first half, really stepped it up in the second. So I'll just have a quick look and see where I am in the league. Because last uh, time I did this, I made a prediction that I said I got promoted and what I'd actually done is just avoid relegation. But you can see my record there. It's, it's not too shabby at all. 11 wins, three draws and no defeats. You know, I'm mainly an ultimate team player. I don't normally play this too often, but I'm, I'm stepping up doing quite nicely. So hopefully what you'll see me do is get a little bit higher up in the divisions and then meet some players who will be a bit more of a challenge. But guys, once again, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.